What's up, YouTube? What is up, YouTube? So y'all, y'all know what today is already. And y'all know I got him next to me. So y'all know what that means already. So today, we about to do a podcast video. But this podcast video is different. I don't got no questions. We just about to, we about the ball. We about the ball. So earlier this week, I posted a video which is like three minutes and some change, like legit. I posted a short video and he was talking about an experience I had on Juneteenth. So if you didn't watch that video, I go watch that video. That's actually what I want to talk about today. Like not necessarily that experience, but like something along the lines of it. So how do you feel about what I told you? Do you remember you I actually gotta say it again? You should say it again for them. Okay. So basically I was at work and I asked my boss, like, hey, do we get holiday pay for today? Mind you, it was June 19th, which is June 10th. He's like, no, it's not a holiday for our company. I'm like, okay. So then I asked, do we get holiday pay for July 4th? The man was like, yeah, and we're off too. I was like, mm, that's weird. Because it's weird to me. He like, oh, what's weird about it? What do you know about June 10th? So I'm like, isn't Juneteenth when black people became truly free and independent? The man says, how do you? I say 21, probably. I said 21. He's like, you need to watch how you say that every word, otherwise you're gonna offend someone. I'm a black woman, y'all. I can't control my face. I looked at this man, I said, who am I gonna offend? He said, me, you're offending me right now. We do not care. I said, how am I offending you? The man says, oh, you're talking about, it's about when black people became independent and uh, free. <laughs> he goes, it's not about that. It's about sl when slaves became independent and free. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Like, sir, were black people not the slaves? Were we not? Oh, okay, that's what I thought. Anyways. So then he's like, what do you know about July 4th? I said, honestly, nothing. I just know it's about something dealing with independence. He's like, oh, it's when America truly became an independent country, blah, blah, blah. He's going mad hard. I'm like, okay, whatever. So I ended up leaving the office. And a few minutes later, it was another woman, a Caucasian woman in the office with us. So I asked her, I'm like, hey, did I have you? She's like, no, not at all. I'm, he's being sensitive. I'm like, since when he's so sensitive? She's like, I don't know. She was like, she was adding the one about July 4th about America being in the big country, basically. And I'm like, okay, that's good and all, but it wouldn't matter if America was a free country or not if people that look like me and him are still asleep no matter where we go. My nigga. <laughs> she was like, you're right. I know I'm right, respectfully. I just find it funny. And why are white people more sensitive over the topic of slavery than black people? I didn't say anything disrespectful. So, sir, what do you think? What do you think, sir? What do you think about what? What do you think about that situation that occurred? I mean, obviously, you started the conversation. Obviously, you ended the conversation. But the only reason why I feel the white people might be offended is because of the fact that they're guilty of it. That's the thing, though. The white people now, he wasn't a slave master. He wasn't, but what if it's somebody, his, 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 foster parent, his foster parents was? I mean, I You would never know because you wasn't born at that time. But to assume that they was, anybody white, whoever had foster parents was slavery, uh, slave master back then. Foster parents? Elder parents, like his great 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 grandfather, all of them. <laughs> Papa's not a foster parent. Oh, older parents, whatever. <laughs> case may be, oh, whoever his, uh, his older parents was, whatever the case may be. Four parents, how about that? Whoever his four parents was, it was sleep. It was sleep. How did you just say his ancestors? Ancestors, four parents, same difference. Tell us some foster parents. I'm crying, y'all. I'm just, it's just funny because it's like, 
you would think based on that reaction, I was like, oh yeah, you did this, your people did that, blah, 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 blah. No, I didn't even do any of that. I'm a very non-confrontational, non-drama person. So for her to get feisty, you must be mad. How do you think you would handle that situation? Same way. Same way? Yep. Same way. Ain't no better as a way to handle that than like if you break up the topic, what what's the point of you getting mad for? And then the moment you start getting mad, I just think you trying to start an argument at that point. I feel like arguments is when people get a lot of rally, rowdy and debates is when people having a civil lot of conversation. I was more calm than him. He started getting all wild up, y'all. Yeah, because he felt uncomfortable about the topic that you uh, brought up. You bring that up to any white person, they feel uncomfortable about the topic, especially when they're around a lot of black, black people. They wouldn't even want to answer the question, really, to be honest. PBR, I was saying this, and as I say this all the time. I don't care what you're talking about with certain stuff. At the end of the day, it's always going to come back to who is black and who is white. Always. Every single time. Now, peep, I was out earlier with my daughter, and I was in Target. So, I prefer, they have a lot now, so I prefer to buy her dolls and stuff that look like her. You scared parents? She's a little brown girl. So, I prefer to buy her dolls that look like her. Now, there's one more left in the store, so I got it. Whatever the case may be. Y'all, uh, tell me if I'm overthinking this. So we in the store and they had a white doll baby, little girl on a box shoulder, a little black girl holding her and playing with her. Ooh, I got the yawns. On a box shoulder, a little black girl holding her and playing with her. Now this white doll baby in her box, it came with um, a pacifier, a little toy, a uh, a bottle, and she can make 20 different sounds. That's tough. Cool. Oh, I didn't know that, thing, that, that she could do that. So I looks at the only black baby doll left that I got for my daughter. Y'all, don't make no noise. Can't talk. Nobody's playing with her in the box. She only got a pacifier. She really don't got nothing to eat slash drink. She don't got nothing to play with. Now, the reason that I find it weird is because I think that has something to do with, like, subconsciously programming people to think a certain way. Because it's like, even when it comes to Pampers, I've seen somebody go to get Pampers, and on one brand, it got a, the white family, like the mom and dad with the baby. Then I saw one with a, a black mother, no father. I think it's sub subconsciously programming people's minds to be so accustomed to the way things are or the way things should be in certain people's minds. What do you think about that? Yeah. I, I never looked at I never looked at certain objects like that, like get into detail about certain objects unless they was like really like not explicit but they was like really meant to be like seen for what they actually was. See you finding like little details about it and then you using like your own perspective of how you think was whatever is on the box is. Like for instance, love I believe loves having the freaking white parents or whatever that's on the box or whatever. And baby white baby with the teddy bear and all that extra joke. And I don't know, some other some other pampers that got the black babies on it, whatever the case may be. It's just a baby. It's probably like sometimes a single a single mom or it ain't nobody on the box. But the but the baby itself. But I don't look into pampers that, that way, so not saying that what you said, the way you think about the pampers is wrong. They probably could have programmed uh, our moms to think like, yo, when you get these pampers, this will remind you of the situation you in. That could be a reason, but that's not the reason I'm going to take it. I, I'm going to just take like, it's pampers. This is my child. I'm in my child's life. You know about this stuff and program my mom to make it think like, I'm not in my child's life, but this is like, the pampers is pampers. That's all I'm going to take it. I don't disagree that pampers are pampers. I just think like, when it comes to certain stuff like that, it's like, y'all, I'm very, I, I, could, I think I paid a nice amount of attention to detail. So when I saw that, it's like, uh, in my mind, I'm like, y'all, I'm a that's weird person. That's very weird. 
Like, that's weird. Like, the pyramid thing I saw on the social media post. But it's weird because it's like, it's not just that. It's other stuff. It's plenty of other stuff. It's like, okay, what about we in the hood? We in the urban community. But they got on every corner, almost. Mm-hmm. I've never been in the urban. I never really pay attention to the urban community. I don't live in the urban community. What did he say? <laughs> I don't do live in an urban community. Suburban is like the rich people we live in an urban community. I don't know what do they have at urban, at every corner. Liquor stores, corner stores, especially liquor stores. Yeah, but they got a liquor store everywhere. You can find a liquor store everywhere. So you don't see that in suburban communities? Not, not as often. You go in the suburbs, you're not gonna find a liquor store almost every corner. Down the block, you're not gonna do that. You're not gonna find that like that. I think all right, I think that's funny because it's like they talk about like certain problems within the community. Now we're African American, so it's like when it comes to things like drugs and alcohol, obviously there's no no anywhere. Even though they legalized weed, it's like you get more time for doing that. It was modern day slavery. So don't say her. It's modern day slavery. Okay, question. Do you think the prison system is modern day slavery? And why? Yeah. I think it's modern day slavery. Because you don't have the freedom to do whatever you want. That's why it's modern day slavery. You, had a, you don't have the freedom to wake up whenever you want. You don't have the freedom to eat whenever you want. You don't have the freedom to take a shower whenever you want. You don't have the freedom to make a phone call whenever you want. You don't have the freedom to do jack. You have to do everything under they command, under they t- on their time, whenever they want you to do X, Y, and Z. So no, they don't have the freedom to do any of that. And yes, it is modern day slavery. I find it funny because when you go to prison and stuff like that, they literally take away your human rights, like your rights. Like they tell you when you can and can't go outside, as like you said, when you can and can't eat. That's your right as a human right, being able to eat when you want to eat or whatever the case may be. Now, I just think it's funny, like, considering that weed has been legalized, considering that weed has been legalized, my brain can't understand how it's still people in jail for weed. Now, obviously, the legalization happened after they already been in jail, but it's like, if you was going to legalize, if you was going to make it okay anyways, what's the point in doing that? That's like saying, tomorrow they made it okay to kill somebody, just because. Why not take everybody out of jail that already didn't kill people? But you don't know if people are still in there because we was legalized. No, I'm not talking about since we have been legalized. I'm telling you, I know for a fact that people are still in prison that got locked up for weed before the legalization. So you don't think they're not out? No, I know for a fact they're not out. Well, I don't have no statistics or no facts to prove that they, nobody that's, everybody that's in there is in there for weed. No, I'm not saying everybody's in there. Not everybody, but the people that's in there is in there for some people that's in there is in there for weed and they're not taking out. You mean tell me you think they took? How long you think? They, how long you think it is to, for them to be stuck in there? Just whatever they sentence you. That's the thing about drugs. That when you get locked up for drugs, it depends how much drugs you have on you, and drugs are different. Now, cocaine and crack are like the same thing. Cocaine is rich crack, so you get locked up for crack. Or, or cocaine or something like that. Me. Okay, y'all. So that's what I was saying. Like Kim Kardashian, I don't know if that was her trouble coming or something. She had was talking with the president or something and getting a bunch of minority, um, a bunch of minority people released from prison. How do you feel about that? Do you think that when when Caucasian people do stuff like that, it's only because they want to make themselves and their brand look good? Who do you think some of them genuinely want to help? Kim Kardashian, right? Yes. Kanye West is black. The fact that you even questioned if Kim Kardashian is black, white, or black says a lot. Considering that she's so pushed into the black community. I mean, I don't know. 
I mean, like, that's, I mean, she probably could genuinely want to help, but that's probably only want to help. She probably only want to help because of behalf of her boyfriend. Uh, well, Kanye West. Probably They're not even West. together no more. What I'm saying, but. Well, her children are black. So her children could be against it. Her children could be with a part, not a part of the system. So that's probably why she's going with it. She could be going with it because her children are a part of Her children is black. She had black children. So we don't know what's her true intention, whether or not she really down, like how she genuinely want to help, or whether she just doing it for the sake of. Maybe that's all we're good. Okay. Hmm. Now I said we would finish this topic. Back to what we were talking about last week. Do you still truly believe that children do not know their mom? And how they feel and stuff, and their heartbeat and stuff. No, it's not that they don't know their mom. It's that when they, I feel as though like they only, they only, I feel like they only know their mom only because of the fact that let's say, I mean, they come out. They, come, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just say this. Our children are already close to their mom because they don't get no closer than men and Saudi. You know what I'm saying? They don't get no closer than that. But I feel as though they are away from you. Let's say for because it's sometimes when it's sometimes children, let's say for when you wasn't breastfeeding and you was like formula feeding your children. Within three days, I feel as though they might not even really like. Within three days, I feel as though they might not even really like have that strong connection to you as they should. Out, cause right, they be having like, let's say for instance, the, uh, what's that care place that they have children in, all the children when they uh, when they sick? No, when they first come out, they put them know. in some type of place with well, a bunch a, of other babies. That's a movie thing, cause they didn't do that when I'm. Well, it was COVID, so I mean, I'm saying, well, when they, well, I believe they put you in this room with a whole bunch of other babies. I don't think they got this room with a whole bunch of babies. Because obviously you wasn't the only one that was pregnant in that freaking hospital. Pretty sure it was other people that was, was pregnant in there too. And whatever they go to take the baby, whatever kids do, because once they take them out and take them, take them out too, and cut the umbilical cord, they take them somewhere after they have to dry them up, and they take them somewhere whether they want to go get like I don't know pampered or whatever they want to get. But make sure I, I would have one with them. Make sure I mean, one time I wasn't even able to go with them. So let's just say for instance like. You couldn't even, you couldn't even see her for a while, and they gave Nami to a whole. You know, they put like name tags on like the freaking which we call it, so they know. But let's just say, for instance, they didn't put a name tag on none of the babies. Obviously, the person, the nurse, wouldn't know what baby is yours. You see what I'm saying? But if they was just give their child to a random stranger, would you? Do you think that that mother would know that that's her child? Know that that's not her child? Know that that's her child. You just said they gave my child to a random stranger. Would the mother know? That yeah. Know that that's not her child. That's yeah. Not. So I just said. Um, also, sorry, it's the next day my phone ran out of storage. But back to the question. Um, do I think a mom would know? Yes, I do think a mom would know. If a bond was established, then the mom would definitely know that the child was not. Yes, I do think a mom would know. A mom would definitely know if a child belonged to her or not. So, I guess to close this video out, thanks for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And come back for my next video.